Hi Shiny. How you doing? So I'm just grabbing myself a drink and stuff because it is way too warm today. Hi Dave, how are you doing? Yeah, it is warm here. I've just been grabbing myself a drink. We shall move into game mode. There we go. Not sure where to put my camera and shit because I have no idea where anything is in this game. I did watch like a... Uh, like I have sneakily watched a stream, so I've spoiled a bit for a couple of bits of it, but... I can't remember much. So, 
Let's write down the settings. Let's go. When you attack an enemy, a certain amount of HP will remain the natural recovery gauge. Ah. So enemies have health regen unless you knock it off. Carlo Colodi. Can you hear me? It's a butterfly. Geppetto's puppet. We need your help. Yeah, from what I've seen so far is we are Pinocchio. We are the puppet that became a real boy. However, there are many there are many, many other puppets. Are these bits here. like a train I just can't see out any of the windows was this I see they got Jiminy too. you were cricket but we have to hurry do we have our own cricket my name is Sophia please come to Hotel Crot and I'll explain what's happening Jiminy please escort him to the hotel It is a cricket. Don't be afraid, even if you get lost in the fog, cricket will guide you. Ah, he's our lantern. Does it do anything else? Um, there. Small lamp with a cricket. Ah, so the cricket's a puppet as well. It illuminates the darkness with a faint light. Do not be afraid, even if you get lost in the fog, cricket will guide you. Last resort. Immediate character. Oh, so that's your die and respawn thing. Yeah, the old man feared the possibility of his son not awakening properly and going into a frenzy. Initialization device is made from necessary. Yeah, so that's your uh, die and go back to respawn. Your lamp. Weapon durability decreases each time you attack enemies with weapons. You're going to repair weapon durability. Ah. So that's our weapon repair. So we're going to have weapon durability. Yeah, he looks a bit like Timothy Chalamet. I was going to say that. And this is our healing power of the P organ. But with stargaze and converting the energy from text. Ah, so this is our like reusable healing. Yeah, he does look a bit like Timothy Chalamet. I can see that. Um, bag. What else have we got? Nothing, 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 nothing. Left arm of steel. So this is a punching arm. Th throws forward strong punches. Left hand parts made with exquisite detail. Don't have any special powers. So we're going to get ones with special powers, that means. Oh, we've got upgradable parts. Workshop Union Basic Frame. Parts that enhance puppet frames, absorbs physical damage. Uh, Bioelectric damage reduction. Ah, so this is like defences. Uh, parts that apply circular enhance resistance to special elements, so that's more resistances. And this is straight up physical defense. And we got fancy clothes that don't do anything. Uh, we got emotes. Our game has collectibles. Yay! Open the door. Let's get you out of there. 
wonder if his left arm is like... Oh, it does have a punch. Right, so... We can charge the heavy. Doesn't look like there's light attacks for it. Oh, is it like out of power? Oh, it's got a power gauge. Out of power. Oh well. What else have we got? I spy the weapons. The streets are not safe. Arm yourself with one of the weapons over there. It'll be helpful on your way to the hotel. Right, what do we get? Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, this is your starting class as well. So we got Path of Cricket Balance. Balance combat style with both power and speed. We got Path of the Bastard Dexterity. Quick and in combat self striking enemies weak spots. Yada yada. And then we got heavy combat style that uses cuts down enemies using Greg. We're gonna go big smashy. Because I always go big smashy. It's a nice looking sword. We're gonna thrust. Another thrust. Slash. What's this grinder thing do then? Oh, it's in his elbow. Right, um, we appear to have this triangle do or L one and triangle, or is it something that's not charged? I bet you something's going to charge off or something like that. Ah, so L1 is block. So that's why there's no light attack with the fit. So you got punch, block, light and heavy. I should say there's block, arm attack. Oh, so R2 is special attack and then. Oh! Two swings. I was expecting one thing, one swing, but apparently not. Do a sprint. Thank you. Welcome to Craft Station, everyone. It's our dodge. That is right. We'll, we'll unequip you because I'm never going to use you. Put you there. I'll put you there. If I hold X now, I can go. What's that white bar then? Is that the charge or. It's the white bar on the bottom right. Um. Oh, that's the, that's the sharpness. Cool. So we also have a Monster Hunter style sharpness mechanic. That's going to be fun. What's this? Maximum number of pull times pull cells can be used when you reach the maximum the cell will be discharged. Attack enemies while the cell is discharged. Cool. So you can kill stuff to get healing back. Right then. you. Is that a parry? That felt like a parry. That was. And you take chip on a normal block. Right. So this is going to be one of those get good at parrying games. And we got a dim ergo fragment. What's that? Uh, bag. Ham in the cooker. 
mysterious power stone that can be found in Krat. Hope it can absorb ergo or turn it into power. Ah! So that's your usable souls. Cogwell comes out and can be thrown to draw enemy's attention. Ah, that's our. We'll put you on the belt. You're for throwing at people. We got here. Door. We got big enemy bashing somebody on the floor. Why are you glowing? Oh. Witness the great show on Earth experience. And that's it. The future of the world. The grand exhibition. Oh, is it some sort of fancy puppet show then? See all of our technological enhancements. Right, the store. Need a key. Well, so there's only one path, so. He's got a gun. It's not fair. I want a gun. Let me go full blow horn. Can I block bullets? Yes, partially. Still take a lot of chip, but. Should turn off those notifications while well, I remember. Oi. A spike. See, I have all notifications turned off on my Xbox, but I forget that it resets every time I. Turn my PlayStation off. Yes, Dave, I am. If anybody, like, gives me 50 bits, I'll give them their your address as well. How are you doing, Spike? What are you up to? Are you enjoying your new PC? Oh, do we get backstabs? Melting. <gasps> Fatal attack enemy from behind. Right, do we get an indicator for it? Or is it just... Oh, that's very close. Oh, what is a one-shot kill? Yeah, so yeah, you're almost touching them for a backstab. Yeah, it's about that here, Spike. I am, uh... Sat here with my fan. It is warm. Right. I need a parry. So your block. That's a parry. And it broke his weapon. Like the top of his sign broke off when I parried him. Now we can do the triangle things. I can see them glowing. Um we see what the triangle things do? Pick this up. We get a note. If anyone finds this note, get out of the station and run. Definitely make sure to keep clear of the waiting room. I saw a huge puppet smashing people to death in there. I'll lock the door, but I don't know if that'll work. At least it should stop people from randomly coming in. I'm going to die soon. So I want to help you, even if it's not so much. Please survive. Anyone. So it looks like they start getting fucked up by puppets. Um, I'll look at my weapon. Um, will it tell me on there? We also picked up this. Thermite bomb that can be thrown and fix fire damage on the area of impact. After the puppet frenzy, people have to fashion fa fa weapons. Ooh, let's add you to here. 
I find that a big puppet, I might throw it at it. Oh, I can see here. Um, where can I see the details? Damage reduction while guarding. So we've got link slash and absolute defense. Where does it tell me what they do? Slash an enemy in front of you uses extra fable slots to slash up to three more times. Absolute defense perfectly blocked the enemy's attack temporarily. Ooh. Great sword blade made of refashioning a soldier puppet's weapon. Even when used as a bayonet, its unique bend keeps it from interfering with firing. Stalkers that have survived life or death situations can see the threads of prey. These threads are sticky spiderwebs of obsession. Say so they are clearer the stronger the puppet is. Great sword of fate handle. Standard great sword handle made by the workshop. It's sturdy since it was made with a crap workshop's techniques. Workshop gathered monster sweepers to face the unprecedented crisis. Lived up to their reputation, eating up monsters and becoming monsters in their own right. Right, so triangle is like multi slash thing. And then L1 on triangle is like the big defense thing. Ah, I can dash. And I can jump. Not very far, but. Right, can I get another backstab? Sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. Ah, got him. That was the big slash from the triangle. Didn't seem very good, but. Has he noticed me yet? He hasn't. Dave Ergo, that's more souls. this way. Nothing. Looks like we're heading towards the big thing. Yeah, I can hear him. Locked device. So doors locked by ladders. All throughout crap there are locked by devices. You can unlock these doors or go down ladders to create shortcuts. So if I... back into here which means we've got the big fella to fight so with some fire at him because fire always messes with stuff and they're puppets they're made of wood obviously Use the grinder, which is there. Oh, that was the fancy slashes. I did a lot as well, even though I got hit. Got him. So we got a key and something else. What was the something else? There's more wheels. Um, quit that. No. Wrong. Back. Castle's made to support puppet abilities rapidly charges. Fable. My puppet's more efficient by circulating ergo within the bodies. Remedy eventually was based on one alchemist's idea. There's the sawtooth wheels, we've got ergo. So what was the things that we picked up? We got a key and something else, didn't we? 
the parts. It weighs slightly more, but it is more damage reduction. And then we got keys. Right. Was equipment. There. So now I have the key to the other side and very little health. Quad Central Station, main entrance key. What's out here? Got very fucked up looking city. Pair the stargazer, what's this? You are bonfire. Looks like it. Fully recover HP and stamina as well as your pulse cells. You revive at this point of death. Remember this process also revives enemies, not just your character. So yeah, this is bonfire. This is called a stargazer. A marvelous device the stalkers used in the past. strong enough to beat the puppets but if I lend my power to this stargazer for a moment gather ergo clever one this stargazer will make you stronger oh is she our level up lady but the stargazer's strength doesn't last forever so be careful with it hurry up and come to Hotel Krat Level up. This is our strength, I'm guessing. No explanations. So we get stamina, stamina and guard regain. Or HP and guard regain. Your stamina. Your whatever that is and weight. Multivity, your attack, you affect our arm and our sword. So do you. And you appear to be resistant, right? So we're gonna go there. I did have some usable things, didn't I? Um, Buttons use all three. Can I get another level? Mom, give me more smashy. There we go, one more. Slightly more smashy. I see you over there. It's a perfect guard. Yes, yeah, so that's what I did before. That's the parry. Shiny, give me dogs. So that's the perfect block that he was talking about. It is just a parry. What else do we have? Here, more puppets. Can I get the one sat down before he gets up? Can. Do you like tags? About this one. Another ergo fragment. Let's sneak up on this guy. <laughs> 
can. But he's got two friends. Oh. Attack slice through. We're good. We have cleave capabilities. We got another locked gate. We can use it for a long ranged attack. Yeah. Right, let's see if there's anything else in this area first. Let's see a blue shiny there. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Oh, it doesn't alright, I mean. trying to surround me. Catalyst, what are you? Grand, grand exhibition has been delayed. She was made to protect the citizens until the profit frenzy that has recently paralyzed the city is under control. The occurrence began on Rosa Isabel Street, resulting in hundreds of casualties. While the cause is still unknown, the number of casualties and the scale of damage are both growing. As the crisis dragged on, the workshop and the Venigi Company, Krat's largest puppet factory, announced they would offer emergency supplies to citizens and do everything they could to alleviate the situation. The task force is investigating the possibility of a fatal loss of the Grand Covenant, which is the control protocol of the workshop's puppets. However, there is no control solution as of now with a puppet frenzy creating work. I wonder if that grand protocol, that, that sounds like that three laws of robotics from Asimov's stuff. Like, you shall not harm humans, you shall not, through inaction, allow humans to be, and all that. I wonder if that's what that grand covenant thing is. Control pop, protocol, oh, shoot, pop. City basis for resurgence of the petrification disease. Citizens are advised to stay indoors for their safety. However, many citizens are trying to escape through Crowd Central Station. So the puppets went nuts. Puppets have some sort of three laws thing, which seems to have broken down. And then everybody panicked and lots of people died. But we are Pinocchio, we are the special puppet because we're a real boy. What's in here? A lock. Ow. Must be one of those ones we have to use from the other side. Let's go. much rain. It's a phone. Is that a phone? Let's have a look. Yeah, it is a phone. Wow, that was a useful message. More luck.
Ah, oh, this is the thing we're looking at. Uh, use Fable Blade, Blade Fable, Lord. weapons of distinct blade and handles. Each have their own Fable or Fable Lord. Use different number of slots. Attacking enemies. So it said I could use this one up to three times. So I wonder if I. Oh, he's, he's got big smash. Isn't he? I need to... There. I don't like the recovery on some of these attacks. It takes way too long for you to come out of the animation for some of them. I hey, look a big fancy mansion up on a hill. Oh, so that's the hotel we're going to. And it's a big creepy hotel in here. I did not see you until you got up. I wonder if the other weapons will be different, but like the recovery time on some of these animations is long. Like when he does that thrust, like I was mashing dodge then, um, doesn't do anything until he stands back up. And again, the wrong button. really going to commit to your attacks. I hear something up here. Is it another dog? It is. Can I sneak attack the dog or... Uh, appears not. Emergency repair tool made by Finigi immediately restores weapon durability. Ah, so that's like the in combat repair if we don't want to. Um, we'll add you over here with the heal then. But we'll add these on there as well. So we can have the heals, the stamina, well, the special attack things and the repair all on one yeah um oh well they're coming this way anyway so I'm just going to continue Ah, that side must have been the healing coming back. Looks like you can only get one. But it is cool that you can get at least one heal back just by attacking shit. Uh, nothing else. 
fence this way. Yeah, I can't break them. Keep an eye on that sharpness. Oh, but it's basically got Monster Hunter sharpness though. I wonder if it'll still do the same thing where stuff will actively go for you if you're trying to sharpen your weapon. A powerful parade puppet is blocking the entrance. And that's the only way in. Oop. So is this the shortcut back? Be careful. Oh, this is the door I tried earlier. Go back to the bonfire and level up again. Because it's only like a couple of them in between. Yeah. Oh look. Give me some of that help. Um How much do you give? You give three. Two levels. If so, I'll give myself another. We're gonna um, um, just under for the next one. So I need 900. And if I use. You give me. Oh, just under. Kill you, like the couple over here, that should give me enough. Here we go. Here we go. Even dropped a wheel for us, how nice of it. Oh, we do have running attacks. So now I can just go this way. Continue down there? Yeah, good. If we get over here. And uh, I saw that coming. Ah, it's a training dummy. What about you? Hello there. Welcome to Krat, visitor. I didn't think there were any stalkers left to fight the puppets. You didn't hear? Figures. The whole organization fell apart. All that's left are wannabes and amateurs who think they can fight on their own. You ought to buy something while you're at the festival. Out here alone? You could use some help. Here's a festival gift for you. Now get yourself something useful. We got growing electricity. Oh, I bet you're a weapon buff, aren't you? Oh. Um, don't really want to sell any of these either. Unless. to be useful. Um, uh, we'll put you 
down here with the throwy things. Yeah. Introducing the parade puppet. Here appears a terrific puppet who will enliven the parade. Introducing Parade Master, a remarkable parade puppet model from the workshop to celebrate the Grand Expedition. Oh, exhibition, I should say. Hello there, I am the Parade Master. I like singing and marching with people. Parade Master has the following functions. 16 jolly songs. Cheerful laughter and 54 parade phrases. Parade dances to delight the children. The strength to carry six, six men on his shoulders. Ah, oh, is this going to be the boss? Parade Master is going to be big in commemoration of the Grand Exhibition. Check out its charms on the eve of the upcoming exhibition. You're going to be the boss, aren't you? And yeah, that looks like a boss entrance if I've ever seen one. Right, we'll put you there, ready. Oh yeah, I forgot I could do the punch with the arm, can I? Craft Festival. missed and that charge thing is already on there but it does seem to do something to him Oh no, we've got a phase change. This. Ow. Right, let's get some health back as well. Oh, just as I got a heal back. Yeah, it's a cool design. Although I've used up all my stuff now. Um, Dino boss path the death area goes straight to the entrance to the boss area. That electricity stuff did a decent amount though.
I just want enough to buy one of those electricity things. Now we shall use the electricity thing in a second. Out here alone? Well, it looks like I can buy the other weapons from him as well. Us down regardless. Just as I got the heel back again. Right, that electricity is well worth it. It did like a jump in his health. I just need to try and get more of the effect guards in on him. Let's go. Right. this and see how much we can get. Oh, we're like a few away from able to get able to get two of the electricity things. Let's try and get them. There's a 
Oh, we're down here, isn't there? Let's get him. See if he gives me the 500. Yes. Right, that'll get us two grinders. So I can get two of the electricity things. Out here alone? you, I can let you steal my weapon. Stamina, but I've almost got him. Got ya. Wonder what he's saying. Eliminated. Quartz, special kind of ergo with, and I didn't get enough chance to read it. That was a pretty decent boss fight. Like wasn't ridiculously hard. Right. Oh, you're 5,000. Treasure hunter may want this. Ah, so it's going to be a boss trade as well, I'm guessing. And then... Activates a special ability when equipped to the P organ. Special kind of ergo with different color. Worship uses this gem and bring up properties, different abilities. Right, I wonder if this dude out here is the treasure hunter. Let's see. Or are you just a random man? Out here alone? You could use some help. Ah, so he's only got the weapons now, right? Let's go. Yeah, that boss design was pretty cool. Like pretty creepy as well. Like a giant basically like circus performer pop it. There's going to be more out here, isn't there? There's bound to be. Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Excludes puppets like you. Yeah. So you'll have to lie to get inside. No. A special puppet after all. Bad things happen when Pinocchio lies. I'm not gonna lie. So Moonstone was not from this world, however, it's the most optimal enhancement material. Right, that's going to be an upgrade thing for my weapons, isn't it? Right, so... Uh, 
Um, 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 I'm a puppet. have to lie then. Bad things happen when Pinocchio lies. Let's try again. Welcome to the century. I'm a real boy. Alright, so yeah, Grand Covenant is uh your springs are reacting. So yeah, Grand Covenant's definitely like laws of robotics kind of stuff then. Is this the end? Lies of P. Black market merchants who sell items in various places around Krat, where there is a dire lack of public order despite the risks. People call them wandering merchants. <gasps> is this our uh, level up lady? Is she the one who sent the butterfly? I'm so happy to see you. I am Sophia. It is. I've been waiting for you. Searched all over the city of Krat to find you. You must have. He was last seen on Elysian Boulevard. All of Krat is dangerous for humans, and that neighborhood is one of the scariest. So we're gonna go and find Geppetto. Please find Geppetto on Elysian Boulevard. I'll explain more once you find him. Wait, take this pocket watch. Krat is a labyrinth of peril right now. This watch will guide you to a safe place. Be careful, clever one. Meh. Pocket watch imbued with mystical power. Power of watch turns back time when the body's in peak condition. it to my th menu thing but I, I don't know what it does oh teleport to hotel or last stargazer used yeah. look at Gemini I think he's in shock is fine. that's proof you're broken the real Gemini isn't so calm I'm no inventor but perhaps I can fix him or perhaps he'll fix himself in time I'll use my power to help you. Yeah, she's our level up lady. Do I have like a little thing to use? Give me some more. I do. Now here's another level. I'll use my power. Um, what do we have? We've got this. Oh, we've now got fast travel as well. Welcome to Hotel Krat. My name is Polandina, butler to Lady Antonia. Please let me know how I may be of service. At Hotel Krat, comfort and calm walk hand in hand. Welcome to Hotel Krat. How may I be of service? You sell stuff. Fable Catalyst, we've got... You look like an upgrade of some kind, or a usable.
What reminds me, I've not used the punch like, at all. I really should, just to see what it does. Vinigi Krat, Landmark Guide 1. Minth Spawn's attraction, Hotel Krat. Hotel Krat is one of the city's creepiest and most mysterious buildings. According to lore, Hotel Krat is an isolated cattle built by an aristocrat. Sorry about that. It's an isolated castle built by an aristocrat devoted to a form of occultism after receiving a resolution from a radiant tree. At one point it was used as a mental institution and some patients say they saw hallucinations. However, no records remain as they were all destroyed in a large fire. Suspicious. After all, being so far underground just compounds the rumours. Some even said it's connected to an unknown hell. But now the rumours have served to embellish the charm of Hotel Krat, which has been renovated in the latest style. As the recent rumours of the Grand Exhibition Ghost Hotel spread, more customers are actually looking to stay at the hotel. Next is a comment from the hotel owner, Miss Antonia. A ghost hotel? I've heard that more times than I can remember. But fortunately, our hotel guests are brave like lions. It's not a problem at all. Rating 4 out of 5. Creepy and mystical, best resort in Krat. Report to Maduro. This guide was made support, made with the support of Venigi Company, a friend of the city. Mm. Who are you then? Unexpected guests are welcome. <laughs> we don't insist on reservations. I am Antonia, and this is my hotel. Welcome. Oh. I knew from the moment we met the Georgia Petto's puppet. He did have a few loose screws, but Geppetto's skills are undiminished. It's a shame. He took off for Elysian Boulevard, and he never came back. If he doesn't turn up soon, we'll have to make a new coffin. <laughs> oh, bitch. I forgot. I was keeping this for him. What is it? It comes with a long story. But I think it's better off with you. Please find that old man. And do take care of yourself out there. <gasps> she gave us clothes. And a gesture. Uh, where to? There. Oh, it's his little sailor outfit. We shall wear it. Now we got this. Another gesture as well. There we go. Now we have his proper little sailor's outfit. this way we've got <gasps> are you a blacksmith i heard about you from geppetto but to see you in person wow you should take this geppetto left it with me just leaving stuff everywhere <gasps> it's a new arm Legion arm is specially equipped, is equipped on the left arm. Each Legion arm has its own combat ability. Legion arm can be modified into all sorts of forms. Modifications can be made using the Venigi craft machine. The sound of it alone. That craftsmanship comes only from the hands of Geppetto. You must be something else. A custom arm from Geppetto himself is quite an accessory. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. I am Eugenie from the Workshop Union. So you do do upgrades. I know my way around weapons of all kinds. I'm sure Master Geppetto would agree. If any of your weapons need work, bring them to me. Yes, yes, yes. I know my way around a weapon. Upgrade. You. Oh, I need more ergo. Um, bags. Don't want to use the five. 
Hi, Biff. I know my way around. You're melting. So am I. It's not nice. I am sat here, like, sat in front of my fan. It's too warm. Other than that, how are you doing, Beth? <gasps> Training puppets. Thunderstorms. Everybody loves a thunderstorm. Be great. Right, what else is in this hotel? We're gonna head upstairs. So you are obvious way out. What's up here? A good thunderstorm. Can't wait. Locked. The smell of bacteria. It's got a fancy name and I can't remember it at the moment. You can actually buy it in a perfume. There's a if you make that smells it that uh, sells it there I forgot what it's called great fortune to all visitors rest for all travelers blessings to all friends right at the door into the scary bit With our fancy new sailor outfit and our fancy new string gun thing. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Hi, Manu. How are you doing? Are you melting like the rest of us? Hey, let's be more careful. Ah, the Black Rabbit Brotherhood. I hate these guys. Ooh. But don't be alarmed. My name is Gemini. We'll talk later when we're safe. Okay. Yeah. I bore. Yeah, we're all melting, it's not nice. Although I am enjoying this game. It is very, very, very Bloodborne inspired. But I've just got, like, I've beaten, just beaten a boss and got onto like a, uh, like a hub area. And now I'm in what's basically the second area. The combat takes a bit of getting used to though. Because you have to commit to all of your animations. There is no cancelling out of swings with dodges or anything like you can do in Bloodborne. I went for the big smashy bar. You could basically get a rapier, like a like a curved scimitar sword, or this big smashy one. So of course I got the big smashy one. How much was it that I needed for the upgrade of that one? It was like five hundred, wasn't it? 
Elysian Boulevard was a regular rich people row. You wanted fancy boutiques and shops. <laughs> no place better. But that was long ago. Before the puppet frenzy. So yeah, what we've learned so far is there are puppets everywhere. The puppets have like a thing called the Grand Covenant that's supposed to stop them going out of control. Um, which is basically like laws of robotics. But that seems to have stopped working and they've all gone nuts and started murdering everybody. And yeah, it's a very pretty game. Like the the designs for the enemies are great as well. Like even these dog ones. Oh, he's gone. There's like not much blood or anything from the actual fights because everything you're fighting is puppets. <gasps> um, but we are also a puppet, which means we get. How do I upgrade them again? There. This one. To the LADA, the puppet parts workshop. It's been in use for a long time, so despite being heavy, it is reliable. She'll take the big smashy upgrade. Those things are like our defences and resistances, it looks like. They're like equipable things and each one of them changes like how much defence you have or how much resistance you have against certain things. And now we're on the rooftops. Didn't reach. That one did. All right. And now I have to sharpen my weapon, monster monster style. Because you also have weapon sharpness that goes down. the ladder? Yeah, you are. If I go down here, we're back at this. Right, I can go and upgrade my weapon now. I've got enough stuff. Teleport to the hotel. Yeah, the game is very pretty. I'm loving the the visuals on stuff. Right. Then we have Oh, I could change the music as well. Cool. Um, it's the lady over here, isn't it? You. I know my way around a weapon. Upgrade. Yes. That's all I wanted. Oh yeah, this is our level up waifu as well. This is our new, uh, go and talk to her if you want to gain levels. Right, let's go back to here with our upgraded weapon. Start fighting more stuff. <laughs> cool. 
one of my friends has just messaged you saying, have you tried the Lies of Peeler demo yet? But yeah, I'm playing it right now. <laughs> Star Fragment. He was desperate enough to be able to summon someone to... Ooh, that's summoning people in to help. I shall use you at the next boss then and see if it works. The wheel. before he gets a chance to stand up. <coughs> right, ladder, ladder, ladder is here. This wire thing is just the brand new toy that I've been given. So I'm trying it out. <gasps> Another big smashy guy. Oh, he's staggered. Get him. <laughs> Yeah, some of the weapon stuff has are, are like weird. Like the the first boss that we thought fought is like a big circus style robot. And all right, I want to try something cool. Can I grab this guy with my my grapple thingy and then backstab him? Oh, I can. Range backstabs are possible. There we are, I found my uh The new best mechanic of this game is doing ranged backstabs. <laughs> ah about you. Come on. <gasps> Someone shot at me. precarious ledge. Yay, more electric. I used electric stuff on the first boss and it was really good. So I'm happy I found a free one. I see you there. <laughs> Sharp, sharp pipe, do. Oh, it's a throwing thingy. Right. And then this way we have up or down. Let's try down. Let's see what's in the streets. seen them stand up like that. Especially the ones without any heads. <gasps> Moonstone. It's for upgrading things. And then more souls. And a button. 
this a shortcut? Maybe. Is it? I thought this was a shortcut. I might be being dumb. Maybe it is, maybe it's... Am I going the wrong way? Yeah, it is a shortcut. I was just being dumb. Yay! More shortcuts. Now we go back this way. Uh, back up the ladder. I'm interested to see different kinds of weapons as well, because the only stuff I've seen that we can use so far are three different kinds of swords. So I'm hoping there are, are other kinds of weapons that we can use. Oh, throwing electricity bombs at us. <gasps> Hello, welcome in Kingdom Hearts 2023. Stop throwing electricity things at me. We are playing the the demo for Lies of P. Really good so far. I'm enjoying it. How are you doing, Kingdom Hearts? Anyway, are you also one of the people melting out here? throw stuff at me. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba, run away. Drop attack. Didn't work. Backstab. That's a bit janky. game is uh, taking a bit of getting used to with uh, committing to animations, but yeah, uh, playing the switches. Ah, so that that recharges my arm. Right, so my little wire catch thing that can recharge that. Oh, another chimney sweep. It is. It's very much inspired by Bloodborne from what I've seen so far. My Louise, Charlotte, my treasure, can't hear anything. I think the streets are already dead, but nothing but silence. Assume that I too will just become another petrified corpse soon. I still remember the sound of your singing voice and the sight of Charlotte looking at picture books. I miss all of it. Best thing I did when I was alive was send you in charge of the cathedral for shelter. Wish this nightmare was all over. Only you and the kid could come back, but I guess now it's impossible. I love you, Louise. Pray that you save that. Oh, so this guy just died. Uh, big boss looking thing. Right, we'll not go that way yet then. We should go and see what's up this ladder. Yeah, this is very much like reminiscent of Bloodborne. You coming down? Come on. Will you come down or are you just going to stay up there? Like. Those two big slashes I'm doing, that's the heavy attack. 
So if you charge your heavy attack, you are committing to two slashes, no matter what you do. Right, so the other guy is already dead, because I've already thrown a bunch of stuff in his face. Oh yeah, so you just drop down. Dodging attack. Use this, shall we? Because he looks mean. <laughs> Fancy attack time. The, the Fable Catalyst thing that I'm picking up, it builds up a bar that you can use to do special attacks. That's what those three swirling attacks were then. Right, what's in here? We have a lot. Oh, an amulet. We had amulets on the equip list. Increased match XP. That's a no brainer. And then we have another one of these fancy stargazer things. Right. We will teleport back to the hotel where I will nip to the loo and then we will level up. So I will be right back.
So I'll turn my fan up a bit because it's way too warm. So hopefully it's not picking it up on the mic. But first we shall do a level up. Or two if we can. Which one is my stamina? You. For another point in stamina, I want to get it up to ten. Gets us to eight. There we go, more stamina. Back, back in we go. Inside the house on Elysian Boulevard. Looking for Geppetto. Wherever he's hiding. So, another merchant. What have you got? Why, hello! <laughs> I didn't know anyone was alive out here. <laughs> I know what you're thinking, but I'm not a burglar. <laughs> I'm just crashing in an abandoned house for a while. Don't worry, I won't cause any trouble. We survivors need to look out for each other. Uh, for your information, I didn't steal this. I don't believe you. So, tribute resistance ampule. Use when it enhances it resistance to ah, so that stops us getting like electrified and stuff. <gasps> You're a mace! Electric coil stick head. Right, we might need to save up for that mace weapon. Elevator doesn't work. So we need 1200 for the mace weapon. Time to start saving up. It was a trap, but I avoided it thanks to the backstab. Mace the face. That is exactly the plan. Why well, have one big smashy weapon when you can have two? I see you up there. I can sense something strange. Jeepers. Is that a butterfly? <gasps> butterfly. Another butterfly. <gasps> Got another moonstone. That's another weapon upgrade. Occasionally a dimensional butterfly will appear in parts of crafts. Manor's lamp can detect the butterfly and lights up red to point out its location. Characters near the hiding butterfly will appear after a certain amount of time. The butterfly will disappear into another dimension. Kill it to get useful materials. So there is our our little crystal bugs of this game. Oh, look at him hanging off there. So I'm going to climb up here, attack this guy. He's going to climb up, isn't he? that thing that we just picked up. Landmark 2 or something. Um, there you are. This month's attraction, the Alchemist Bridge. The Alchemist Bridge is the bridge on the Elysium Boulevard and the main way to Krat City Hall. The Holy Ouroboros, the Mark of the Alchemists, it's fittingly engraved into the bridge. This shows that the alchemists are not just a powerful, privileged class, 
but also have donated tremendous amounts of money across the city. Thanks to the culture, uh, the thriving culture of philanthropy in Krat, you can find areas with the names of prominent figures. It's like the city's motto, the citizens are the owners of the city. Most widely known attraction is the Rosa Isabel Street. It's named after the cultural sponsor Lady Isabel Monard. If you think about how the ladies married the leader of the alchemist Valentinus, you'll think twice about who is really in control of Krat. The union of Krat's old families and the organisation of alchemists is shown in this symbolic form. Given that the sacred Ouroboros mark is engraved on City Hall as well, it's obvious who owns the city of Krat. Rating 3 out of 5, a good place to learn about Krat's beginning and its essence. Report to Maduro. The guide was made with the support of the Venigi Company, but name may not reflect the company's opinions. Sounds like a conspiracy. Demon Urbo Fragment. So we have ladder, and then whatever's across here. What is across here? Back into a building. Uh, warning, petrification disease quarantine zone, no trespasses. Everyone is a patient or a lunatic. Do not speak to them. Yay, lunatics. I can hear people. So we can go down here. We can go down the other ladder. We'll go down the other ladder first. This looks like it might be a progression. And the other ladder is kind of not obvious. This way. Doggos. taken care of. Kate, you are not open from this side gate and that dude has a sword. Another moonstone for upgrades. Anything with you? Uh, apparently, I can. Ow. This big smashy guy over there as well. Isn't Radiant Ergo Fragment. Star fragment. More ergo. Another ladder. <gasps> Dog jumped through the window. Doesn't evil style. Oh, need to fix my weapon. Oh. 
he is stored in the balls, Lenori. That's what I've been told. And how are you doing? How's your day been? What's in here? What we got? Workshop Union Standard Insulation Converter. Yeah, it is way too hot. I hate it. Right, um, you win one of these, don't you? This one. And each parts to increase the resistance, attribute resistances of puppets, enhances resistance to electric shock. And there we go. Now we have extra electric shock resistance. Yeah, I have my computer on, and luckily it's a nice, like, dark, cool place anyway, so I can get away with it, but that's what I need to do. Go back and see the merchant guy. I've got enough, almost enough, for the smashy hammer. You merchant man, how much was that hammer? That's for your information. 1,200, um, bag. There we go, we got enough. That for your information. Electric coil stick head. Um, we'll to equip you as a secondary weapon. Proper big smashy. Um, so jump and powerfully strike downwards. Um, greatly increases blitz attack. So if I just use triangle, it does way more electricity. L1 on you know, a triangle is like a big smashy. And then this thing just does electricity all the time. Winner. Yeah, it, I am enjoying this game, Lenori. You might enjoy it as well. You get to play as Pinocchio. My baby. It's the crazy lady. Can I talk to her? Oh. Yes. This must be your first time in... The petrification disease quarantine zone. The Rose people. This is their last stop. You are a good Samaritan for coming all the way here. We have petrification disease as well. What's the bet that that people just turning into puppets? May I ask you a favor? My family took my baby from me and sent me here. They said it was for my own good, but it was heartless, just the same. I'm trying to get a good look at her hand to see if it's a puppet hand. Oh, baby. It looks it like it. With its mother. See the joint at her wrist. Please go to Quart City Hall and bring me my baby. Please, thank you so much, kind one. Yes, yeah, because he's a I real can boy. I finally see my sweet Elena's face again. Anyway, I'm just assuming that we're Pinocchio. Hard scales spreading across my eyes before I lose my sight. Please. She said the baby was at City Hall. Should we check it out? It says we're one of Geppetto's puppets oh, and that we're a special safe. one. So I am assuming we're Pinocchio. It would make sense. Plus, weird things happen when we lie. We had the option earlier to like tell the truth about being a puppet, or lie and say that we're human. And it did weird things when we lie. Yeah, it did warn us earlier, Lenori, but I also want to see what happens. <laughs> Eh. 
Ow. And he killed me. Yes. Major Bloodborne vibes. Like, it feels very much inspired by Bloodborne. Just the whole feel of the game. Manage, wait. Nah. Right, so I gotta remember that this is a trap. So, get him from my back staff and protect himself. Bloodborne with cogs instead of flesh. And your, your dodge has like zero distance. Or distance, I should say. Like, this game actually makes you really commit to stuff, like, every time I thrust the sword and stuff like that, I am stuck in that animation until it's finished. Like, I can't cancel or dodge out of it or anything. Which makes dodging some things really awkward. He just fell all the way down. But yeah, very big Bloodborne vibes with this game. Right, we'll fight him one to one with my sword this time. Come on, buddy. I've not actually used the line on this arm much. I wonder if I can do better with the punchy arm. Throwing electricity. again. Fact. Always one of these. Again. Give me my not souls. I 
really want to dodge everything with this guy. Oh, the punch does a decent amount, and it staggered him. Got him. <gasps> and it gave me his baton as a weapon. Do I just straight up get given it? I did. Now we can be the policeman. What's it do? Uh, single slash. Grab the extra through a big forward slash. Stretch on increases your attack for the next hit. Now we can be the abusive policeman. Stick with the sword for now. Sword is good. Torn doodle. It itches. Peel the skin and there's blue blood. Blood, blood. Big cocoon. Blue angel. Joyful appetite. Blue death. What a feast. Death, death, death. I'm alive. It itches. <gasps> Itchy tasty. It's another Resident <laughs> Evil reference. I wonder if any of the people who worked on this were like part of the Resident Evil team or something. That's like the second Resident Evil reference we've had. He tried to hit me. Fancy sword blows and everything. <gasps> Broke a door. Or kind of short door. Is near where the ladder is, isn't it? Yeah. So if I head back up this ladder, this goes. I just heard a cat. Yeah, it goes back up here. And then I can go to the thingy and level up. Sweet. So we'll head back this way. Do the level up and stuff. See if we can't upgrade the sword. I'm sure we picked up two of those moonstones. So, uh, storage. Um. You can both go in storage. We'll keep the star fragment because I want to see if I can summon in help from the boss just to see how it works. Talk with Gemini. You are! Finally, someone is talking to me! Jiminy! I'm Jiminy! Jiminy your Cricket! Friendly puppet guide. Or friendly guide puppet? I don't know, one of those. I'm also a friend of Sophia's. Last time I woke up, Sophia was there because. Because she woke me up. But I'm sure there are still other memories in there. Sorry. Must be the shock. Bear with me, and I'll do my best to guide you. So we want to teleport back to the hotel so we can level up. Yeah, I can see the clouds here, Beth. And I've heard a little bit of thunder, but... Not quite yet. Not yet. Almost. Right. Go see the weapon lady. I want to upgrade my sword again. I know my way around a weapon. Great. There. I need four for the next upgrade. 
Bring huge unique cranks to alter weapon handles, each handles property upgrades based on your weapon's character specific stats. Ah, so this is uh like your what your stats well what your weapon stats are based on. Whether it's like a strength weapon or a dex weapon or whatever. Right, how much for a level up lady? One level up. We want to get that to 10. Get us a decent amount of stamina. Thunder is picking pretty epic. <gasps> oh well. Sucks to be them. Are you one of those people, Beth? Did you leave your washing out? <laughs> For once. Right, so we have a braided sword. Punch is pretty decent. It is slower to charge up than the uh, normal heavy attack though. Is this the one I want to go down? No, other one. Other side. Punch you off. That's where he fell. sword guy is still up here because I can see him well there we have doggo right um so where was I supposed to be going around here attention Petrification, disease, quarantines, are no trespassers, yada 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 yada. So that this is where the lady is. Ah, oh, so the big copper stays dead. Good. So it's this way then. house or further down the street let's have a look this looks blocked off urgent repair tool which is a good reminder to do this sharpen me weapon and I'm gonna door just opens and you go into that's the alchemist bridge so we are going to go to this house instead and see what's in it. It's coming for you. Oh no. Oh wait. I think I know what this is. This is a shortcut. I 
I am pretty sure this is going to take me to the uh, to the merchant and the stargazer thingy. Yep, there he is. Uh, for your information. So I can rest at this and get my heels back and then go to the Alchemist Bridge. Keep watching this side in case there's a secret. No, there isn't. to broke his sword, that's what that was. One doggo. Yep, I broke his sword. Right, let's go. Let's see what's so important about the Alchemist Bridge. Other than it looking like an absolute mess. Urge puppets. Come out, Geppetto! You've got a lot to answer for! <gasps> Leave Geppetto alone. You know what caused the puppet frenzy, don't you? You're their maker, practically their father! <gasps> Donkey. You and the alchemist scheming together. Tell me the truth! What's your problem? I'm here for the old man. Get lost. Wait. I know you. Or more like I know what you are. You're the devil's puppet. You can't sneak past me. Die! Whoa. Here it is. The rain is here now and it's heavy. <laughs> Sure. Wonder how well parrying works against this guy. Probably not very, but it's worth a try. Yeah, it's pouring down out there. If I happen to disappear with no warning, it's because the electricity cut out. Right, we'll just wait for you to go past and then run.
Is he going to follow me all the way? Go on, do it now. You can't sneak past me! Die! Oh no, that's not fair. You're supposed to hate puppets and he's like way more obvious a puppet than I am. Do a backstab. I'll kill you both, then string you up on the bridge. So parrying kind of works. Do I lie over die? Sounds like a good choice. Although we all know bad things happens when uh, Pinocchio lies. See how well the punch does against him. You can't sneak past me. Die! Oh, that does a decent amount. You got a few punches in. I don't miss. Just following on you two fight each other. Thank <laughs> you. 
آره تارا کمون چه پاتو از ات یو این اولد مان Finally, we meet, son. It's a dream come true. Seeing you like this, I understand why some people despise me. I invented the puppets after all. I should take responsibility as their maker. But in order for me to do that, I need to take care of the puppets at City Hall. Won't you help me? Son, take mm -hmm. this. You'll find it most useful. <gasps> Any man Emily tool. Right. We just got a bunch of stuff. Um. Tool that can assemble and disassemble a weapon's blade and handle. Weapon assemble is available through Stargazers and Eugenie. When dealing with a non-human enemy, it was necessary to do away with common sense. The workshop and stock assemble various blades and handles, focusing on making the greatest weapons. Right, what else did we get? Clothes. We got mad donkeys. <gasps> and then we got city hall key. Um, equipment. Yes, there we go. That's what we wanted. Right, we're out of little throwing disc dudes. Everything else seems to be fine. I want to hear all about your experiences but now isn't a good time use the stalker's key to open the bridge door then get rid of the frenzied puppets that have seized city hall we'll catch up at hotel crot when you're done okay i want to hear use the still we'll catch i want to hear <laughs> And we shall be wearing this donkey head through the rest of the playthrough. Crat City Hall key. And there's a stargazer. So we can rest. <gasps> Storm. assembly tool you were talking about if you find any more weapons let's try using them here assemble weapons for UG at the hotel let the stargates in different areas separate your weapons to blade and handle assemble them into new weapons that match your character's battle style handle and blade combo ah so it's like I can swap the handle off this for the handle off another one. Yeah. First, back to the hotel. We got leveling up and stuff to do. You weren't wrong about that rain either, Beth. It's already all gone. We're gonna see her down here. I know my way around a weapon. 
Right, we need four for that. Right then. I'll use my power to help you. Any more level ups? To ten. And more damage. I'll use my power. Ergo is the miracle that made Krat prosper. Without Ergo, there would be no automated puppets to make Krat wealthy. When you move, you tap into the power of Ergo within you. Gather more Ergo. It will make you stronger. In the folklore of Krat, a cricket often acts as a guide. That is why these automated models became popular. But Gemini is unique. He's more than just a guide. As you get more familiar with Gemini, you'll see what I mean. Okay. Right, where's Geppetto hiding? He said he was going to go back here. People have no idea so many secrets are buried in craft. Thanks for keeping me company. What are you curious about? I see you're here. That means you can lie. Your lives are a rare ability. You're able to choose your own path, unbound by anything. People on the outside are still afraid of puppets. <laughs> Lie to protect yourself and find your path. I'm an old friend of Geppetto's. His son is like family to me. Make yourself at home. You're always welcome here at the hotel. If you have any questions, ask my butler. Hmm. Welcome to hotel. The Grand Covenant is a set of absolute commands imprinted on puppets when they are made. First law. All puppets must obey their creator's commands. Second law. A puppet may not harm humans. Third law. A puppet protects and serves humans and the city of Krat. Fourth law. I've told you about the laws engraved upon every puppet. Do you require anything else? So what's the bet that this is some sort of like evil uprising by Geppetto then seeing as the first law is obey your creators the stalkers are Krat's vigilantes it's my guess groups of them, the bastards and the sweepers the bastards are an organization of guards for the alchemists and the workshop motto honor or nothing the sweepers are an organization of guards for the old families of Krat motto we always repay what is owed. Historically, the relationship between the two groups has been turbulent. But most were killed in the puppet's full-scale attack. That is what little I know beyond the hotel walls. May I serve you in some other way? Welcome to home. Right, uh... So where's Geppetto hiding? Already not moved back here yet. Do I have to do something to trigger it? Could he be upstairs? Nothing there. Knock on this door. this door. Locked. So it looks like he's not here yet. I have to do more stuff before he shows up he looks like. Right, let's go invade City Hall. See what we get.
I really enjoy this game though. It does remind me a lot of Bloodborne. It is like the first thing that springs to mind, but there's a lot of differences as well that make it interesting. like that it locks onto those mind things. It annoys me. What are you? You're not right. Is this the petrification disease it was talking about? Maybe? Very small shortcut. But yeah, you're you're definitely not right. Have a look over here. Crad news. Mr. Vingy's ambition to make a jolly police mascot puppet for City Hall ended in failure. His passion to make a trustworthy friend for the citizens and a strong officer who overpowers criminals was in the right place but turned out to be excessive. The new police officer's puppet's overcharged storage battery exceeded its capacity, causing chain explosions, malfunctions, and serious body damage. City Council re recommended disposing of the puppet on the high gro on the grounds that its appearance intimidates visitors, but Mr. Vinigi and the taxpayers protested, halting the council's plans in its tracks. The puppet still lies abandoned behind City Hall to this day, while the lawsuit is ongoing. The interesting thing is, even when the puppet is unattended, it performs a number of its mascot roles. It is especially popular with kids, and even appears to react and respond to the playing of children. It has led to more slum children entering City Hall and causing inconvenience to visitors. City Council is considering about and only occasionally exhibiting the puppet as a means to restrict entrance. Ah, oh, so the police puppet was too scary, so it ended up becoming a mascot for kids instead. What's this? Will you be my friend? Everyone is gone. I'm all alone now. I bet you it's this guy over here, isn't it? The one currently pounding somebody into mush. Yeah, he's not even got a head.
Right, what's actually over here then? Other than... Yeah. Poor kids. No. No survivors here. <gasps> baby puppet for the what crazy do do? woman. Just give her that baby puppet. Sounds like a plan. Let's head back and see what happens. Probably nothing good. Crazy woman. Oh no, not down the lift. What am I doing? Other way. Uh, for your information. Here. I forget which way it is. Yeah, it is. This is where the warning sign is. See what happens. I could sense her from miles away. Oh, my sweet Elena. Please let me hold her. Here, there, my baby. I missed you so much. That's not creepy at all. What do you think? Isn't my baby adorable? Um. That's right. My time. Kind one. You've granted me my only wish. I still think she's a puppet just looking my at her that wrist joint and her hand there. Thank you. There we go. And a talisman. Was it a talisman? Is it something else? None of these. Bag. Right, so she gave us a clear ergo. Oh, she gives a record. Used with the gramophone in the hotel. She gave us a song. Mm-hmm. 
do 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 right back to the teleporter thingy. Might nip to the hotel as well. Even though I'm like bouncing back and forth, I might have enough for a level. Teleport to the hotel. Corruption decreases your character's HP over time. But I don't have any corruption, so we're good. I'll use my power. I'll level up. Health. <laughs> to City Hall. So we've beat the big policeman into the proper city hall where all the lightning and stuff seems to be so equip quartz and a p organ slot do i even have one don't think i do well, i've got quartz but This way, past the exploded Cthulhu like man. Oh, he spotted us. We've got one of these dudes here now. Oh yeah, big smash, he still exists. He's just over there splattering stuff still. So if we got in City Hall. I'm guessing dirty horrible secrets. What's in this chest? Chest always has good stuff. We got a patient amulet. What do you do? Increase your stamina recovery speed. here. Spectre, use a star fragment and a cracked calling next to the boss area to summon the oh, so this is a boss battle. It's quite clearly a boss battle. We shall use one. See if we can get a friend. You're the creepy police officer they were talking about. Yeah, that's that's terrifying. I would not want that as a police officer near me. Oh yeah, I did get help. Cool.
doesn't like this other person, whoever they are. Staggered. dead any second. But did alright at first though. So I need someone to take that electricity off me, so I need to change my items around. resistance to and a throwing pipe from the hell of it can I sprint past all these nerds? Thank you. 
is difficult. Like the moment he goes into that electricity phase, it's difficult trying to just hit him. Um, is there anything I can swap around? I will put you two down here for a start. Which is the one that cures, which is increases resistance. Your removes. Your increases. Staggered. No, the shock got me. I just wanted to get off the stagger then. The stagger would have got him. Spirit. You're a donkey. Yeah, I've heard a donkey head somewhere in it.
electricity mode. But you mustn't be far from staggering now. Try spike, I'll bite you though. Almost there. Another hit. Got him. Boop boop boop. Charge storage, broken heroes, core, and something else. Fix this. Right, what do we just pick up? We got broken heroes, ego. Ah, <gasps> when is it, Bart? I will do if we have a link or something. Now? <gasps> there we go. So yeah, they uh they showed preview for like um updates for overwatch 2 and they said story missions and co-op so maybe right let's see how much of this demo is left um so i just killed the boss so it's going to level up time oh yeah i am wearing the donkey hat as well greg because yes Yeah, I I was hesitant about buying Overwatch 2 anyway, just because it was like, I didn't play much of the first one. Or I did play a fair bit, but I don't really enjoy playing like competitive FPS games and stuff. Oh, it's Geppetto here now. You saved Geppetto. Wonderful. He is on the second floor. He can hardly wait to see you. Right, let's see if Geppetto does any upgrades before I do anything else. Seeing as he made us. Yeah, 2 was just Overwatch 1.5. Like, without the PvP, without the other stuff, it's just Overwatch 1.5. That's all it is. Aha, he's in this room. Geppetto! Oh, you've returned. Forgive a sentimental father for worrying about his son. Always remember that you're precious to me. Even when I ask you to do something dangerous. Speaking of which, there's a factory just beyond the Lycian Boulevard. It's packed with countless puppets. My friend, the inventor Venini, went to stop them. Ah, so that's how you say it. Benini. Go save him and shut down the thing. What are we doing? And my lies coming back to get me. Are the source of your powers. Collect the quartz to get the strength you need. It's got a clock on it. Remember. The hotel is the last safe place in Krat. It's our only refuge in a city full of perils. It'll be extremely dangerous if anyone has ill intentions. Be careful who you tell about this place. Especially if they're stalkers or... Hotels. It does look very good, Greg. Be wary of dangerous people. And always be a good boy to me. 
Oh, that's all we had left to do. The city of Krat. It asked me any question. Venini works as the puppet's main base. It's a factory where they manufacture more of themselves. Venini himself went to stop them, but rescue Venini. Right, let's see. Pure organ starts to activate your character's light it builds to equip your own. Shine synergy affects two groups of activated. Oh all more bigger upgrade paths. Enables another dodge in the middle of a dodge motion. Ooh. Right. What do we need for these? Rogue availability window. Add extra fable slots. Link dodge. Full cells. So we need to collect some more of the... Oh, that makes sense. Groggy. Unfortunately. So the quartz thing that we picked up is its whole own massive upgrade path. Yeah. Right, let's see if we can actually see anything else. Um, you... Do we have any upgrades for her yet? I picked up trees. Why don't we make a legion arm with it? Mr. Venini is the expert when it comes to legion arms. The puppets get fried easily by electricity. You're going to the factory. He's the richest man. I heard he went to. I know my. Got a new arm. Um, can't upgrade you yet, but I did get a new arm. So we'll swap to the electric lost, one and see what it knows. does. That's why I found We're both here. That's all I can say. I'll use and then power. level up a bit. There. We're going to equip electric arm. Oh, teleport. See if it actually lets me go anywhere. Because it did say that's the end of the demo. So I don't know whether it means it's actually you can't go anywhere else or whether it just means we've seen all the stuff it's gonna let us see right so switch leading arm switch you for electric arm Ah, there is stuff through here. Vanini's Guide. Dear citizens of Krat, the factory's been occupied by puppets. Whatever the cause, Vanini Company is responsible for it. I, Lorenzini Vanini, I am going to start alone to stop these devils. The factory is very dangerous now. Stay out of it and keep safe. Now I'll rest for Mr. Geppetto. Uh, the rest I'll leave for Mr. Geppetto, whom I trust more than anyone. God save us all. Hi, Trua! We are just exploring this last bit to see if there's any more to the demo. I got the thanks for playing message, but there was nothing else. So I'm not sure if there's actually any more. Door? Nope. That's all of the demo. So yeah, but we literally just had to do that boss and then go back and see Geppetto and friends. It is a lot of fun. Like I've said, it, it reminds me a lot of Bloodborne. Like the way you fight, the way you move around stuff. Like I'll show you with these guys in here. So. Got dodge. Got charged up heavy attack. However, you do commit to animations in this game. You get a block. But you do take chip damage on blocks. 
See, I've lost almost half my health just from blocking those. But you can parry as well. Yeah, the backstab... Backstab range is really close, though. Um, but... Like Dark Souls, you can backstab in combat. As long as you can get behind them. So let's see if I can get a parry off. Come on. There you go, there's a parry. But yeah, at the moment, like... Oh, I broke his sword as well. Like, with parries and stuff, you can break people's weapons or cause changes in how they work. Because most of them are puppets. Like, some of the parries seem to disable, disable stuff that they can do. You also have a fancy arm that does cool stuff. Try this electric arm. Oh, it's close range. There you go. There you go, that's electrocuted him. And then you've got, on top of your normal combos and stuff you do with your weapons, you have what are called fable attacks. With this one, I can do a combo with it. So I get that big fancy slash, and now he's staggerable. Also, you can see I'm out of healing now. I can earn back healing just by fighting stuff. So if I go out here and fight this nerd. You can see it start filling up. I can only fill up one. Well, that's like almost halfway. Like one more guy and I could probably get a heal back. But I also need to sharpen my weapon Monster Hunter style. Because your weapon durable. If your weapon goes to zero, it's broken and you can't sharpen it anymore. You've got to go to like a save point to get it back. There you go. Health back. I also found this guy. Don't know what the fuck is wrong with this guy. But he is messed up. I'm thinking this might be the petrification sickness or whatever they've been talking about, but I'm not sure. But yeah, the uh, the weapons are quite varied as well. So you can see the two abilities on the bottom right. I've got the triangle ability and the L1 and triangle is the hilt. You can mix and match those. Yeah. I found that, Greg, and went, eh. But yeah, this is as far as we can get here. That door over there is locked, which would be the other way out. So yeah, uh, assemble weapons. So I'll see this here. Your weapon's made of your blade and your handle. Blade has one ability, and the hilt has another. So you can see, there you go. So the blade has link slash. So slash an enemy up to you using an extra fable slot to slash up to three times. So it uses one blue bar. If I've got three blue bars, I can do a three hit combo and it does a silly amount of damage. And then absolute defense for two pips perfectly block the enemy's attack temporarily so it basically means i don't take any chip damage while blocking for a short while but there are other weapons you can get um who had them was it the guy in the hotel and like you get other ones like there's one that um 
there's a hilt that regens your stamina faster while you're using that hilt and i've got a couple of other weapons in storage as well like i've picked up i bought one weapon from a merchant and one i picked up off an enemy i beat so let me get out of storage here storage so i've got a policeman's club and a a big electric mace that i picked up oh she's up here now um where's the training area gone crat oh yeah that i found resident evil references in the game dave uh greg there was a a bit where a bunch of the dogs come out of one of the windows like um in the first resident evil game and a couple of other bits as well anyway so this is like an electric mace that i picked up so this one doesn't even have a one slot ability It only has two slots and three slots. So I'm trying to get up the two slots. So here you get regular stagger as well. There you go, so two slots is just extra electricity. But it's a lot of le extra electricity. And then if I... I have some of them, don't I? There. I use some of these. Oh, you do get the traditional like dodge attacks as well. So it's not just the normal combos. You've got backstep attacks and dodge attacks. So there we go, I've got the three pips now so I can do the L1 and triangle, which is... Big Smash. And then I've got a policeman's club so I can beat somebody up like a proper copper. This one has extra block. So this one's just better at blocking for a bit. And then the L1 and triangle is like one extra um, attacks worth of damage. Let's see if I can get the two pit one. hitboxes are quite precise as well so it is easier to dodge some attacks like they've not got massive hitbox hitboxes around them right time for a bigger attack oh but yeah that was gonna be a big slam but as well as, well as these two that i've found these two like police baton and the mace there's two other swords as well that you can get and you can mix and match the blades and handles from them is it this guy who sells them welcome to no anyway that is me done seeing as that was like the end of the demo thought I'm gonna run away and I will see you all soon for like dark siders and shit so, we'll go to the fancy ending screen. Uh, I don't know if there's anybody online to raid. Let's have a look. But yeah, I quite like that demo. <laughs> no worries, Trua. 
yeah. Saw some co a few cool games, saw, saw a lot about Starfield. This game I quite like, it's very, very Bloodborne inspired. Like anybody who's a fan of Bloodborne is going to like this game, I can almost guarantee it. Um, who's around? Eh, uh, ah, bugger, I'm just gonna end, can't be asked. So yeah, I shall see you all during the week for like, Darksiders and um, more of the Surge. But I'm pretty sure we're really close to the end of Darksiders, so we'll be moving on to 2 soon where you get to play as Death and shit like that. <sighs> that doesn't work on this screen, Manu. Unfortunately, it only works on the in-game one. I'm sorry. Anyway, I shall see you all soon. Bye-bye.